that Mangalyan apparently, the total cost of it was 11% of the cost of NASA's space orbiter to Mars, and it was pointed out, was probably less than the entire budget of the Hollywood space movie Gravity. Let me be a little rude and say, but could our frugal approach have partly explained the well-publicized failure of the Chandrayaan moon landing and the way in which the Land Rover crashed. One important uh, big headline grabber is Gaganyaan, this new mission, which will, well, you tell us what it will do. The Gaganyaan program is the Indian human spaceflight program. And it also says that we will send three Indian nationals to space uh, and then bring, bring them back safely. So it, it talks about only the first step of human space flight capability for Indian space research or as far as the Bharat uh, is concerned. And that's what the GSLV Mark III will be used for? The GSLV Mark III is a rocket which will be converted to a human space flight capable rocket. So we call it human rating of the rocket. Mm. Uh, the rocket per se is very reliable, but when human beings fly on it, then you need to be extra cautious. Mm. Say the human life is at risk. Uh, while it is coming back, also it must be very safe. You must have an ability to abort the rocket in case that uh, there is an anomaly you know, growing up and then there is no chance that it will go to orbit. So there must be a computer sitting inside telling us, yeah, there is a danger coming. Why don't you abort now? So it decides itself because nobody in the ground can do any of this. So we need to create that intelligence in the rocket. And all of this is being done for the first time in India because yes. I think the Americans have done it, the Russians have done it, nobody yeah. else has. Uh, much. Yes, Europeans have certain capability because they have done their own human missions in other vehicles. So are you getting any collaboration from any of these? We do have collaboration in various you know, elements. We have it with the uh, Russians very strongly because they are supporting it uh, without much difficulty. When Mangalyaan went to Mars, uh, it had a number of amazing firsts. It was the first uh, country in the world to successfully launch right. a Mars ar orbiter That's as the right. first attempt. That's right. Yeah. All the other countries, very few countries have done it, but those who have done it had to make several attempts to do it. Yeah. And countries as sophisticated as Japan and China have not been able to do it, but yeah. India did. But what was even equally striking was that Mangalyaan apparently, the total cost of it was 11% of the cost of NASA's space orbiter to Mars, and, it was pointed out, was probably less than the entire budget of the Hollywood space movie Gravity. True. So you've got an amazing ability, we've got it in India, to do things inexpensively. Frugal innovation. Yes. But how do we do that without cutting corners and taking risks? No, this is a, it's a matter of uh, culture of the organization, I must tell you. See, we can do it very costly, we can do it at, at a very low cost. We are all taught from the very beginning. Ever since I joined ISRO, you, you are going to work in an environment which is not that uh, flashy. You know, we remember that when you procure, you buy something or do something, cost is the paramount importance. That means the internal culture is towards uh, the frugal nature of engineering. We do recycle quite a bit. That means if you make a proto model, we always look at can I use it for some simulation work after doing a little bit tweaking. But it is definitely not by cutting corners, it is the attitude that we put forth before for the development program. Let me be a little rude and say, but could our frugal approach have partly explained the well publicized failure of the Chandrayaan moon landing and the way in which the Land Rover crashed. What, what happened? Absolutely not. I think it has nothing to do with the approaches of engineering. Mm -hmm. Approaches of engineering is one and, and problems and issues in a mission are another. See, we must realize that space technology is a very unpardoning technology. Just the case of an aircraft uh, which you are designing, assume that I am designing a transport aircraft before it actually flies with passengers. It would have gone through hundreds of tests in the ground mm -hmm. or a mission to Chandrayaan or a Mars we will never ever get a chance to launch it in a, in a test flight and then say the landing is perfect. For in the case of Chandrayaan 2, we did actually simulated a lot of landing exercise in Earth. But they were all successful. Mm. But the moment that we go to moon, there is yet another problem that we have a low gravity compared to Earth. You cannot create a low gravity field in Earth. Are we going to try again? We are going to try again because we understood there are parameters beyond what we actually done the simulation in ground. We need to go further. We may fail again. I, I want to tell you that there is no guarantee of success in any rocket mission. 
Well, why is it worth doing? Why is it worth putting Because it is worth doing this, we are doing it. I tell my young engineers, why we do we work on rockets? Not because that it puts some satellite up there. Rockets are the only means by which human beings can ever travel the shores of the earth to another planet. There is no other way.